What's up, YouTube? Angry Jack Lil Bra Bricks. So I've got plans, guys. I got big plans. I am a geek. I am also a Blade fan. I love me some blades. And if you guys didn't know that by now, shit, you guys have not been fucking paying attention. Well, anyway, uh, I got introduced. One of the good things about having a YouTube show is you end up meeting a lot of interesting people. And as I started to meet these interesting people, my mind started thinking, huh, you know what would be cool is if we made some real tricked out things. You guys saw the, the, uh, the Jackalope edition of the Inforex Punisher. And I love the way it came out. And as I got looking at it, I started thinking, huh, you know what would be neat? Just customize other stuff, you know. And I'm a collector too. I'm a, I'm a big, big nerdy collector. Like I've got quite a few um, Quartermaster Blades. I got those as a complete set. You might recall the A-Team video. Uh, I got those. I didn't do a lot of heavy testing with them because, you know, I'm a collector. Well, recently I, uh, I was watching Prepare My 101's neck knife video. And he had... A couple of different neck knives on there that he was talking about. But one caught my attention, one called Tibo, T-I-B-O from Tops, Tops Knives. And I was talking with a buddy of mine, and I was like, yeah, you know, what do you think of that Tebow? He goes, which one? I said, uh, I don't know. There's different Tebows, And he started explaining to me that there is basically three different variants of Tebow. You've got your production, which is your black one. Then you've got a stainless steel one. Uh, which they had made that was clear, clean, it didn't have any uh, uh, of the black coating on it, and that was pretty difficult to come by. And then he said there was an ATS-34, uh, uh, he said, which is like a unicorn's fart. To which I was like, really? It's that fucking rare, huh? And so I reached out over at Craig and said, hey, Craig, you guys got any fucking Tebos over there? And he goes, yeah, we got a bunch of production ones, and, you know, Ready to rock and roll. I said, well, what about the stainless? He goes, no, we don't have any stainless. I said, what about the ATS-34? He goes, yeah, I got one. He goes, I, I, it's my personal one. It, it's the last of the of the batch. There's, It's number 36. And so I said, oh, there's only 36 of those fuckers in existence? And he's like, yeah. And I said, dude, do you fucking use it? He goes, not really. I, I have it, but I don't really do anything with it. I said, dude, let me have it. And he was kind of like, uh... I said, ah, oh, dude, I'll give you some money for it. And he's like, uh, I said, dude, I'll give you some more money for it. And he's like, uh, maybe. I said, okay, okay. And then I thought about it and I said, man, it's number 36 of 36. You know what I mean? And it's part of a project that I want to do. So I told him again, I said, dude, I'll throw, I'll throw some more money at you. I'll throw some more money at you. You know, this, this, how's this offer? And he's like, Fuck. Fine. You drive a hard fucking bargain. And, uh, I mean, he could have, he could have fucking held out and asked me for a whole lot more, but he's a cool motherfucker. You know, it didn't, it's not a lot of money, but, um, it, it wasn't a little bit of money either. You know what I mean? But I wanted it because, like I said, I'm a fucking collector. I'm a hardcore collector. And I told him, Dude, this little blade is going to have a lot of videos made about it. It's going to be in videos. It's always going to be, you know, hanging around my neck and, you know, this, that, and everything else. And, um, hang on a second here. <clears throat> and, uh, so I told him that this is going to be a project blade. It's going to be called Project Kanaloa. And for people that know me, um, that name might ring a bell, Kanaloa. I had a, another project that I, I have created a long time ago to desalinate ocean water uh, to make clean, drink, drinkable water uh, by using green technology, and I called it Kanaloa Systems. And Kanaloa is uh, the ocean god in uh, Hawaiian mythology. Uh, mythology. And... Um, that little piece that you're seeing right here on the top, that is a piece of jewelry from Bico, uh, which is, I think, an Australian jewelry company, uh, and it's called Kanaloa. 
And so the other thing that's interesting is I told Craig this. This is the only thing I don't like this sheath. It's very, very snug. Uh, I told Craig this. <clears throat> and uh, like the cool motherfucker he is, he got Kanaloa etched on the blade as it was cleaned up and sent over to me. And so here you can see, there's the serial number right there. So it is T036, and that makes it number 36 of number 36. So, you know, if you can't get the fucking very first one, get the last fucking one. You know what I mean? From a collectability point of view, that that's, that's fucking cool as shit. So... I got some really neat handle scales being made for me right now, and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. But, sticking with the ocean theme, this thing has a blue glow-in-the-dark uh, lanyard here on it, and it's got a little bead on it. And that's my neck knife right now. And you will see this thing continue to go through uh, a few more upgrades so it will have some custom handle scales which will have a video that I'll showcase on that and then it will be custom kydex sheath that I'm going to get made I've got a guy uh, here local that I have um, I have a lot of plans for we're gonna hook up and he's gonna make a lot of uh, kydex sheaths for a lot of my blades and it's just easier uh, having somebody local to me that I can go out and uh, get stuff done with so right now I have this thing hanging on uh, a um, paracord neck piece here with a, uh, a little adjustable piece here to slide down to, to uh, give me different length. And what I did is I put two dragons at the end here. So when I'm wearing it, here I'll show you this. It's kind of neat actually. So when I'm wearing it and I snug it all the way up, then it comes kind of like a like a modified bolo tie. It's kind of sitting here hanging off to the sides like that. Little dragons riding on my shoulders. So anyway, uh, that was kind of neat. And uh, that's the Kanaloa Blade Phase 1. So there will be multiple phases coming. And uh, can't wait to hear what you guys think. And as I unravel the next series of plans, I hope this is going to be some shit that's going to blow your guys' fucking minds. Alright, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, this is a short one. Uh, if you like it, like it. Please subscribe. Tell all your fucking friends. Until next time, please, 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 pretty, pretty motherfucker, please be good to everybody as well as yourself. Okay, guys.